What's going on, y'all? Lucky Dipper here. We haven't done an actual dip review in a while, so today we've got Copenhagen Wintergreen Smooth. I can't remember if I have ever actually tried this or not, but we're gonna try it. Uh, so by August of 2024, so it is in date. Can design, honestly, I give it nine. I really like the can. That's that's actually pretty cool. So, what uh, what's the difference between the smooth and like the regular? I, ask me. I have no idea. I'm about to find out though. Might have to compare them. Crank this open here. Excuse me. So y'all seeing this here? All right. Hmm. Oh wow. Get a close-up shot. What does it look like? It. Oh wow. It is. Uh, see. It kind of looks a little um tighter packed than uh regular old Copenhagen. Let's get us a pinch here. A pinch, so. Alright. Got our handy dandy mud jug. Yeah, it's got a sticker that says Mountain Vapors. My wife goes to a vape shop. Figured I'd put something on it than rather than having plain Jane. My initial reaction, it's much lighter on the gums. It packs mm, kind of medium. It doesn't pack as well as regular Copenhagen, but much better than a fine cut. What it honestly, rem the cut reminds me of is uh, Hawking Wintergreen. You know the one with the gun on it? There's a picture right there. That's what the pack reminds me of. Like, and like if I were to open this and then open like a can of Hawking, it would look the same. This one's kind of like a medium cut dip. Not fine cut, but not like extra long cut. Flavor wise, you get a little bit of nicotine buzz. I do like that. That is really cool. Um, I like it. But despite the cut, once you start talking, like if you hold it in your mouth, you start talking, doing whatever, it does actually hold in place really well. It doesn't move around. It's actually woof. So I haven't actually had Copenhagen in a bit. Seems like it has a bit of strong nicotine to it, actually. I like it. The smooth, it doesn't burn. I'm assuming they're they're probably like saying smooth as and it doesn't actually like burn your lip like regular Copenhagen does. Or regular Grizzly or literally any of those regulars. Oop. Oof. So the smell reminds me of I'm gonna try to think of how to explain this one. The smell reminds me of that wintergreen gum. You know, you open it and smell it. It's got that strong wintergreeny smell. That is what it smells like. Smell overall though was really good. Nine out of ten. Taste. Honestly, I'm not much of a Copenhagen person until recently. I like this. I'm, I would actually rather get this one over the regular wintergreen, to be honest. If I had to pick a Copenhagen, I still think the extra long cut is number one. But I think this would be second. Guys, I give this one a 9 out of 10. Have you guys tried it? Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Is it a dip for you guys? Have you tried it? Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. We'll see y'all in the next one.